The coronavirus took something away from us that we never thought we could lose. Sport. Wimbledon. NBA. English Football League. India's Cricket Premier League. Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. Is now cancelled. Even the curling world championships were cancelled. And they're the cleanest sport of all. Two of the players carry brooms. But there was a magical few weeks back in March when pretty much the only sport on anywhere in the world was footy in Australia. I watched my first game last night. It's played on like a three mile surface area of grass. And then there's just a bunch of shit going on. While Australian sport was a beacon of hope to the entire world, one sport held out longer than almost any other. Partly because of financial necessity, rugby league was still going, long after the other sports had given up. Well, now it looks like the last sport standing will be the first one back. It's a landmark day in Australian sport. The NRL will reboot. The plan is May 28. The first major sport to emerge from the corona crisis. That's right. Lock up your drugs, your dogs and your daughters, because rugby league is back. From May 28th, Rugby League, the game mainly played in just one half of Australia, a strip of northern England and a few tiny islands in the Pacific, you heard me, New Zealand, will soon be pretty much the only ball sport you can watch anywhere in the world. So for everyone here in Australia and from overseas tuning in for the first time, I'm going to answer all of your questions about the triumphant return of Rugby League. Rugby League, your questions smashed. Is it safe to play again? Good question. It was never safe to play rugby league. Player safety is a relative concept in a game where 100 kilo blokes run at each other at top speed. I was going to say breakneck speed, but very few of them have necks. But if you're asking, have the players earned the right to be the first ones back by behaving in a COVID safe and responsible manner, you bet your ass they have. And... NRL star Josh Adokar was warned twice in 11 days for violating COVID-19 rules before he was caught for a third time. The Melbourne Storm winger, along with South Sydney's Latrell Mitchell and Newcastle's Tyrone Roberts-Davis, have each been fined for breaching social distancing protocols. Then there was Penrith halfback Nathan Cleary. Cleary was caught flouting social distancing rules on Anzac Day when photos of him at his home with five women were posted on social media. OK, that looks bad. What are the rules? No one really knows, and they change the rules every year anyway. But the point of rugby league is to place the ball over the opposition's try line. You can run around people, run over people, or just put your head down and run as fast and hard as you can and hope momentum carries you over the line. But there are strict rules the other team has to obey. No contact with the head, no ramming with the shoulder, and no penetrating with the finger. It shouldn't need to be a rule, but it is. Most importantly, whichever team wins is obliged to say... Credit to the boys. Credit to all the boys. Credit to the boys. Big credit to the boys. No one has ever not given credit to the boys and lived to tell the tale. Next question. When does the season start? Rugby league starts each year with the off-season, or as it's formally known, the horror off-season. A horror off-season. Horror off-season. A horror off-season. Horror off-season. There were 17 incidents of poor behaviour in just five and a half months. Most sports pick players using the draft system. Rugby league prefers to use the court system. It acts a bit like a filter. And at the end of all of the off-season scandals, the clubs gather all of the players still eligible and form teams. There were so many off-field incidents before the 2019 season that the league had to make a rule that you can't play if you are facing a charge with a jail term of 11 years or more. So you can be comfortable that everyone you're barracking for is facing 10 years or less. Credit to the boys. What team should I choose? In rugby league, you don't so much choose a team you love as settle for a team whose scandals you can live with. Now, these are pretty sordid and some are still before the courts, but here is what the ABC lawyers would let me get away with. So it was Australia Day and decides to urinate on a full marked police car, simulating a sex act with the dog, weed under a blackjack table by pulling his pants down and getting his teammate's dog stabbed someone outside church and somehow managed to poo in his teammate's shoe. Who takes a knife to church? <laughs> Tries to set fire to a young boy in a dolphin costume. <laughs> what I'm saying is, there's a team for everyone. 
How did rugby league manage to be the first sport back? The obvious thing would have been to get governments, health authorities and broadcasters together in advance, listen to their concerns and address them before announcing the return date. The NRL did none of those things. They just put their heads down, ran as fast and hard as they could and momentum carried them over the line. And that's everything you need to know about the great game of rugby league. Full credit to the boys.